Alright, now I'm going to show you guys the 20 gallon tank system which supports uh, the tilapia which are a little bit bigger in size. I don't know if you can see them there, they're darting around. There they are, really scared. Okay, so here I have a pump that's about a 60 to 80 gallon pump, per, uh, gallons per hour pump. Uh, I don't actually remember. And then the way the system goes is it goes into this girl bed and I've made these braces for it so it won't move anywhere because this grow bed is actually more narrow than the tank and then I got the one specifically with a lid I got this grow bed this uh, plastic container from oh there it is flushing right now I got this plastic container from Goodwill it was about three bucks the tank I also got from Goodwill for about 12 bucks um, and this is actually cheaper than the NFT system because you have to buy so many tubes but what you do have to invest in on this one is you got to make the the bell siphon and then the rocks, the gravel. And a lot of people use the hydro tent, but just find it's too expensive and I can't actually find it anywhere locally. So here what I've done is I've drilled a bunch of uh, three, no, two and a half inch holes in series. And it really depends on the design of the lid. This one happened to be shaped this way. Where it's got these little square things, so that's how I drilled it. And for this one, I I use uh, just the regular cups. But I've, let me show you. You can see here, these regular cups. But I took a took a hot glue gun to them, and I made a bunch of holes so you could put gravel gravel inside the cups, and then your your plants. You just put them right here in the holes. And boom. If it, the water, the water fills up to this line right here, and the cups do, for the most part, they should be below that line. But every once in a while, when it flushes, it aerates them so they're not rotting under there. And this is just sea PVC. So you get some plants growing here already. And uh, these are the preferred. I actually prefer these. Um, I'm very picky about the dimensions of the the tubware bins for grow beds. Uh, I like this this sort of dimension where it's about six inches in height. Um, it could be a little longer, but two feet in length is fine. Two and a half feet, and then anywhere between uh, a foot and a half to two feet in width. Let's see, here's the. Should have some dimensions on here, but somewhere between. See, this is a seven gallon. Somewhere between a seven and a ten gallon. I think I've got another one over there. I can show you later um, in the bigger systems. But this is the twenty gallon system, and this one will support the the bigger the bigger fish, getting them ready to go into the fifty gallon. This is a step before the fifty gallon, and then finally the the large. I'm not sure how many gallon system. And this whole system costs maybe, well, it costs a lot just because of the trial and error, learning and um, troubleshooting. But once you have it down, it'll cost about 40 bucks. It really depends on how cheap you can get the tank. And then I'll show you guys in another video how I made this uh, specific. Uh, siphon, the bell siphon. Let me open it and see if I can get it open. Let me see if I can get this. See, there it goes. There's the there's a bell siphon. The bigger tube is the it's just to guard it against the rocks. So you've got river rocks and lava rocks mixed in there. I prefer lava rocks. The only problem is you have to super clean them or you get that this like film everywhere this like red dust which I had a problem earlier with the with the 50 gallon system but there you go and basically you just just make your own planters and then you can buy them super cheap and you won't run out anyways there you go 
Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.